guys, it's Divining from Merch.com with another video for you all. This one is about uh, RuneScape Merchanting Clans, as you can tell. I am not going to start a Merchanting Clan if that's what you think when you clicked on this video. I simply want to tell you about what exactly is going on with them and uh, give you a word of advice about them. Because recently on this video I got a comment from a viewer and he was asking me how can I find good items for a Merchanting Clan. And he also asked advice for an item that he was currently doing with a merchant and clan, and uh, I answered him on that. And he also, like, uh, I said I'd make a video about it, and he recommended me to do it as well. So that's why the video is here. Um, what I want to do is I want to look into merchant and clans, like what exactly is happening right now. You, as you all know, things changed a lot since free trade was reintroduced, but apparently a lot of people don't really realize this and they think merchant and clans are still a very viable thing and a safe and good thing to invest with. Uh, that is unfortunately not the case. If we have a look at the RuneScape forums, I looked up uh, merchant and clan here, merchant clan, and uh, I got quite a few results here. Now I thought I'd just open up a bunch of them and look through them. Um, just people looking for a mentioning clan. I'll just open up a couple of these and let's have a look at them. Uh, so here, first off, this one actually has 62 pages. That's really quite a lot. I remember in the past though, there would be a lot more topics on the forums, mm -hmm. but uh, luckily that decreased a lot. Uh, this seems to be just some spam, then uh, a form you have to fill in to join. Oh wow, this is impressive. They actually ask you a 20 mil payment to even join the clan in the first place. Now that is impressive. Like, doesn't it ring a bell with people? Like that's just, like, I don't know, maybe they're trying to look legit by doing this, but it's just really strange that they would ask 20 mil and get away with it. It's 62 pages of applications probably from the looks of it, but I don't really see any posts from the guy like accepting people this was also posted in early 2012, which is quite a long time ago, and people just keep on posting. It doesn't really seem like there's anyone here like getting accepted or whatever. It's still people posting even up to this day, I think. Yep, even today there was a post still. So yeah, like as you can see, 62 pages of just people applying and nobody really getting accepted, which just means that there's a lot of people who want a merchant, but they don't really know how to do it. And they think these clans still work and that's why they tried to apply for them. Uh, next up, this one only has one post. Uh, <laughs> requirements, you need one Christmas tree hat at all times. Wow, that is, uh, I'm sure he has some Christmas tree hats just sitting there. All right, so I'm gonna skip over this one. Next up, 21 pages. That's also quite a lot. You need 25 mil to be in it. They do have a lot of stuff posted here. Um, let's have a look. Is anyone even getting accepted? That's always the strange thing. Like, I don't know, are these people just PM'd in game and then ripped off or something? Or it's just the same person bumping. And the thing is, like, I haven't explained to you yet why I think Merchant and Clans don't work. The simple reason for it is the fact that a lot changed since free trade. Um, I'm going to show you that in a moment. Here's another one. Cats. Okay, great. 38 pages. That's also really, really a lot. And just a lot of people applying again, but I'm not seeing anyone getting accepted. So it's, it's quite weird. Like, I'm not even sure what's going on here. But the reason why these things don't work, and I'll get into that now. Um, right, this is an old video that Snow and I, uh, like we did this after free trade was released. Now this was the arcane and spectral spirit shield manipulation. And you could consider this kind of the, a bit more modern version of a uh, clan buyout, so to speak, of a merchant and clan thing. We also did this in larger groups and it worked because limit boosting existed then. And limit boosting was the fact that when you sold off your items, you could instantly rebuy that limit. So let's say I bought two spectrals as they had a limit of two. I could instantly buy two back. If I sold those, I could buy two again, but I couldn't buy more than two per four hours. So that really allowed you to like gradually sell off at the peak and then gradually like catch the, the fall and keep pushing it up a bit so you could sell off all your items at a decent price. But this was no longer possible after a while because uh, there were too many flipping bots and stuff and Jagex took that option out 
and that really changed merchanting a lot. But even just like the release of free trade itself, it just made things really difficult because uh, I'm just gonna pull up an example here. I did this as a buyout once with a friend and uh, we did orange salamanders. It, they went a lot higher than this graph, but this is the only picture I can still find right now. And uh, let's say if the merch ended here with a market price of, t of uh, 1015 and the low price of 964, we could put in our sell offers at 964 here and that's it. People couldn't buy lower because there was a cap of minus 5%. And uh, if we were trying to sell it for that, then it would stay at that for a day until the Grand Exchange updated. Now, what this meant is that uh, as soon as your merch ended, even at a high price, you could still junk trade your items away before their actual value would crash down a lot. And that is why merchant and clans and even buyouts worked back then, because you could do that. Nowadays, however, if you pull out your buy, like if you pull out your buy offers and you start selling, the item could instantly, even within a second, crash back down to the original price that you started buying for. So if we tried to do this item nowadays, and let's say this would be the same graph, and I would be trying to uh, sell them off around 1k each, it could be that the next buy offer in there would be at 200 each or something, or even less, because simply nobody really needs this item. Now the person in the comments, uh, he asked me about Obsidian Capes because that was a clan, uh, the clan's item that he was merchanting with. So I'm just going to open up the graph here and have a look at it. And um, as you know or may not know, Obsidian Capes are not really super in demand anymore. They have uh, some critical attack stats for all combat cells, but they are worse than skill capes. So like most people have a skill cape nowadays anyways. So it's not really a high demand item. And again, this guy, uh, he gave me the argument, look, we can make this rise really easily. And that's true. It's really easy to make an item rise in price. Even I could do this myself uh, on an item with a low volume or not worth a whole lot. It's super easy to make it rise, really no problem at all. But the trick with merchanting is always selling it off at a high price. Like right now it's 57K here. And I believe it has a high elk price of about, wait, I'm gonna look at the long-term graph here. I think it's around, 35 or 36k or something is its high alt price. So you know it's not going to drop below that because people can then simply high alt it for profit. But like even looking at the current price, you just know that nobody is going to buy them at this price, at least not any large amount. So if you could you could try to merge this with a clan and buy it up and make it rise in price, but who is going to buy the capes from you at a higher price? Nobody is going to do that. And as soon as you guys take out your buy offers, then it may well be that the next buy offer is something at 40k here or even less, you don't know. So really, like, these kind of things, they can work on very popular items like Snow and I did on the Arcane and Spectral, but you, it would take a lot of accounts, a lot of cooperation, everyone would need to strictly follow all the rules, and it's just really difficult to do something like that, because you could be on a merchant, like, in a merchant clan with your one account, and then on the other account you could be, uh, like, you could buy the same item and sell them much sooner. So really there's no way to regulate it for the clans as well. And that's just really why it's not a viable option. It takes so much effort. Uh, it's just like, you need to be absolutely certain that you can trust everyone in a clan. And that's just what makes it so difficult. And I'm also pretty sure that all of these clans on the forums, even probably almost none of them are even going this far. They just buy up an item and then they sell. And, they're not like asking for things like screenshots and proof and whatnot. It's really just a bit of a scheme. And it's sad that a lot of people don't realize this and they fall for this and they join the clans and they lose, they lose their money. And that's just not what merchanting is. You really need to, like what you need to do is simply you need to go out, go out there and start flipping and investing and doing things for yourself. That is really the advice I can give you. I'd, I'd strongly advise you to stay away from these merchanting clans because you're just not going to make money and even if you do it's not worth the time and effort and in the end a lot of people are going to end up getting screwed over there if you do plan to do flipping and investing it's always a nice idea to make a merchanting log on our for uh, on our website sorry um we get about a new person join every day it's quite social it's quite fun and um yeah let's have a look here at philippe let's see what his latest uploads are it's just a nice thing because people post a lot of comments and uh, wow, that's a very nice seismic one, Philip. Here, very nice job, Philip. Um, 
so yeah like people comment you've got a lot of support you've got a lot of ideas and you can make your uploads very easily i'll make a video about that soon too like how to properly use our merchanting logs because i think people have some questions about that too still uh, as for the merchant clans, like merch is never going to start one because that's just not how things work nowadays. It's like I, it's very unlikely as well that Jagex is going to change the system again, so that uh, merchanting in a clan would be allowed again because they were even quite against it in the first place. Um, you may also be wondering, like, how are the merchanting clans that operate now any different from the ones uh, back in the day, back in uh, restricted trade? And the reason for that is, like I already explained, uh, the price couldn't instantly drop within a day, so people had still had time to junk trade their items away. It's true that a lot of the leaders did dump on their uh, clan members, that they bought it out, they uh, advertised it, and then they sold on the people who started buying. But there were also clans that did this legitimately, and that actually w tried to push the price as high as possible and then junk trade it away. I know for a fact that there were clans that did it legit, but the ones that didn't, of course, gave clan merchanting a very bad name, and uh, that's pretty much how it went. Anyways, that's it for this video. I wish you all of the best with your merchanting, and uh, have a great day. Take care, guys.